Hello, welcome to Bat Film Showcase, where we feature Christian short films, documentaries, and testimonies. I'm your host, John the Baptist. Of course, we've got a great show lined up for you. Today on the show, we're going to check out a short film from Christian hip-hop recording artist, Thizzle. That's right, he's written and directed a short film called Fallen King. This film was also shot and edited by super director, creator, out of Rochester, New York. Well, without any further ado, here's the short film by Thizzle, Fallen King. They say sleep is the cousin of death. I understand what they mean by that statement. Because if I go to sleep tonight, I can wake up in the morning. But when I die, ain't no waking back up. That's why I live every day like it's my last. And I look out for myself because ain't nobody going to look out for me like I'm going to look out for me. That's me right there. They call me King. Get up. Hey, it's time to get up. All right, man, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. My daddy named me King. You know, like, royalty, like, after Martin Luther King Jr. Because he wanted me to know growing up that I wasn't like everybody else. He said I was born to be a king, but when I look around me, I don't see no kings and I don't see no queens neither. All I see are pawns falling for everything, everything that's thrown at them. Not me though. Right around with the top laid back, let it knock, boy, I'm back and I love my city. My city. Got a heart like Pac for the block, but your boy big and black like Biggie. Like Biggie. Got the dope boys with me. Got the dope boys with me. So the pro pro see me. See me. And they gotta pull me over because they think I'm right. This is my boy Shahid right here. Because you definitely probably need me to pay for it, bro. Why do you have 25 baby seats in the car? <laughs> Uh, every time you pick me up, bro, it's like it's another baby seat in there. It take nine months bro. for a baby to be born, bro. Every time I ride with you another week, it's like you got another baby seat in the car, bro. This dude got like 20 kids, and he always coming at me with this black power, my earth and my seed. Man... Most of the times, I don't even understand what Shahid talking about. And I don't think he understand neither. Because the same time he on this old righteous, black power, we need to rise up, we could do better type stuff, that boy always blow. Wrong, you the man. blackest person I know, and you don't want to listen to me. Come on, <laughs> man. Go with this fire guy. Bro, Bro I you don't... the blackest dude I know. Let you can't, listen, listen, let me why you can't get a job? I got a job. No, no, no. Why you can't get a job? Because I got a job. You know why no, I can't no, get no. a job? You can't get a job because you ain't been told you can get a job. See, no, you're you supposed to be out know, here creating you jobs. You know why I'm, I'm not getting a job and I have a job? I ain't getting a job because I ain't about to go work for nobody for no five, six dollars an hour, bro. I feel like, like that's not happening, But I'm bro. saying, what I'm saying. That's not happening. That's I got I'm a saying. job, man, I'm, and I'm creating jobs. My whole Woo team, my whole team eating, bro. <laughs> We all eat. You know yeah. that, man. Come on, bro. You know. I can't. I gotta. I gotta laugh to keep crying. You know. It's, it's so backwards, dog. You know. You just, all it's just so backwards, backwards about dog. It, man. That that you Come really on, have been bamboozled. Spills, been the bamboozled. white man has there got you. you. Go. I've been the bad. white man has got you perpetuating the system, perpetuating Plymouth the problem. Plymouth Rock didn't land on us. Nah, nah. Plymouth, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Come on, brother. How you Malcolm. get the dope? Is your is your connect black? Not, what is you? Were you wired, bro? I'm just no. <laughs> why you? I'm not asking. Who, man, come on, all bro. I'm saying is, how you think this money getting in here? I know how my money getting where it's okay. getting. Okay, okay, okay. Because I'm working for it. Black people don't own them boats. Black people don't I own them boats. You ain't got no boat. I do got a boat, bro. Them shoes, man, them big old on, uh, size 18s, <laughs> the old shacks you got on over there. I got a boat, bro. We know you ain't got no boat because boats don't come. Equipped for 25 baby seats, bruh. So you don't have a boat. I got a boat, man. I'm, I'm matter of fact, I'm going to get on my boat. I'm going to get on my boat. That's my homegirl, Nana. She ride or die. My little sister, Rocky. Ever since our mama died and daddy went to the feds, she thinks she my mama. She thinks she my mama and Shahid think he my daddy. The only difference between them two is she really about the stuff she be talking about. 
And Shahid, in one breath, he telling you to be righteous. And then another, well, look for yourself. Yo. What's good? That's your pastor. <laughs> Is that your pastor? That's somebody pastor oh, right no. now. Girl, let me get this up off of you. No, you know, that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. That's not what I do. What What do you do? Not that. What is that? The, uh, you know, money blessing oil joint. Man, come on with that stuff. I'm just saying, you got something in the back. Got something like what? Some of that. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you still trying to match, though? Yeah, but we ain't gonna do that here. I know. Man, that dude's so hypocritical, man. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Tell him, man. Dude is a straight hypocrite, bro. You always run around here telling me what I need to do, how I need to pull my life together. But you run around here smoking weed with the homegirl, bro. What's up with that, Mr. Righteous? I be right. About what? About the stuff I be telling you. No, we ain't talking about me right now, bro. Duh. We talking about you running around here smoking weed, bro. What's righteous about that? What's wrong about it? Come on, we're not gonna have that discussion, G. Yes, we are, because I'm sick because of you, Because first man. of all, I wasn't matching with you. That's first. Now, nah, but you- put in on it. You always, I bought it. I didn't put in on it, I bought it. So you you being a hypocrite and you mooching, bro. Name by mine. You mooching. Uh, 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 at the end uh, of the day, dog. Uh, at the end of the uh, day, what you uh, doing? All right, tell me, tell me this, tell me this. Is you gonna smoke with us? You know why? I'm not gonna smoke. Okay. You know why? But you sell it because I'm righteous, bro. Y'all is tripping. Ain't neither one of y'all righteous. This dude ain't righteous. No, you ain't righteous. The only way righteousness can be obtained is through the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why Jesus? Man, I'm worried about the color of his blood. You talking about the color of his skin. What that got to do with? It got to do with that's what saves us, dog. Well, okay. save me. Okay. Okay. It saved you from your white slave master? No, it saved me from the wrath of God. Okay. Okay. And it don't matter what color your slave master is. If you a slave, you a slave. Okay. You talk that. I walk it, too. You talk that. I walk it. Hey, don't bring no grape swisher. I just want a regular, you know what I'm saying, cigarette. It don't matter. You're going to smoke whatever I got. Man, don't turn up on me. <laughs> don't turn up on me. Bruh. Tell me. Hey, 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 hey. Man, just shut nah, nah, nah. up. Okay. I bet you don't smoke because you don't want to lose your money. No, I don't smoke because it's... Why, why, why do you smoke? I like being in my right state of mind. Do you want me to sell you on the, on the idea? I'm not a salesman. That's him. You right, bro. I am a salesman. But you, you the one always talking this this power and and black power and, and we need to be free, bro. But I'm a salesman, but you a slave, bro. You a slave. To who? To who? To who? That baby your mama yours, bro. That's who you a slave to, your baby mama. Because while, <laughs> while you at home watching them hundred kids you got, bro, she out at the club kicking it. With me. Yeah, bro. So you the slave, bro. I'm at the club kicking. Y'all seen your baby mama. I know where you was at, though. You was at man, home whatever, washing out dog. diapers, man. Whatever, dog. So you the slave. I'm not the slave. She know what's up. She know what's up, dog. And she don't be at the club kicking it with you, dog. Come on, man. Stop saying that. They gonna start believing you. Man, she be there, dog. She be there. Turn like. <laughs> <laughs> she be there. <laughs> Yo, BM. Yeah. You don't like the hood to go do something about it. You don't like the guns to go do something about it. You don't like the deal and go do something about it. You don't like the deal and go do something about it. What's up, sis? You got a minute for us to rap real quick? I'm good. You can talk. Go ahead. It's just some stuff that's been bothering me that I definitely just need to rap, talk to you about. Ah, oh, man, you, you in one of them zones again, man. Like, my sister gonna worry herself to death about what I'm doing out here in these streets.
I understand where she coming from. She don't want to see me in jail like our daddy, or she don't want to see me dead out here in these streets like most of my friends growing up, but I keep trying to tell her I'm good, though. But I, I understand where she coming from. She love her big brother, and she don't want to see me out here in these streets dead or jammed up, so I just I think get that you got a way bigger problem that you're not seeing. You don't have to worry about me, man. I'm chilling. Like, it ain't as bad as what you think. Look, honestly, sis, I'm cool. I am not worried about nobody killing me out here. For real. I'm straight. So you ain't gotta worry about nobody killing me. I'm cool. So I want you to do me a favor. Why don't you slide by my crib? It's a couple of dudes that I want you to just sit and rap it for a minute. Take time to hear them out. Let them hear what you gotta say. And then y'all go from there, all right? Yeah, I, I come over and meet the dudes from your church, man. I'm telling you now, though, if these dudes get to tripping, they ain't gonna be throwing no holy oil all around and all that stuff for you, because I ain't got time for all that. And you know, I'm, oh, I got something for him. I'm gonna bring Shahid with me, too. You know what he gonna do, so. But I come meet him, yeah, because I love you. Like, I don't know them, but I come meet him. All right, I love you. Lord knows I ain't want to go meet with these dudes. I heard that Jesus talk enough from my sister. I ain't trying to go hear it from nobody else. But if this gonna get her off of my back, man, I'll go sit down and talk to these dudes once a week. I jumped off the porch early. Night gas. Life can be a must, but hey, life's sad. I see my cousin take a bullet right there. Blood on the ground, body jumped out right there. The Middle East, they in the hole. So what's up, fam? My name is Kenny. Chill, man. King, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. You, man. Yep, yep. Well, this is my boy Shahid right here. Hey, what's up, Shahid? How you doing, bro? Man, yep. Bro. Well, yeah, man. Uh, I, I guess it's a, a reason probably why your sister wanted you to meet me. Um, I am a pastor. But my you know, sister trying to save, she trying to save my soul, man. man. My yeah, life. Yeah, that's what's I'm a, up, bro. I'm gonna just save you some time, bro. Mm. You need to get up out of here with that fake stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Bruh. What's up? Uh, are you from the hood? Actually, I am, bruh. I'm from this hood. G, if you from the hood, you a sellout. Mm. Wow. <laughs> this, this I want this. everything I love, you a sellout, G. With that bruh. white man's religion, G. <laughs> white man, everything. What do you mean white man's religion? Because it's a white man's religion, bruh. Jesus was white. Mm. Bro, Jesus was not white, man. He was from the Middle East. Jesus from the Middle East, bro. White people from the Middle East, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I bet Shahid white. never thought he heard a white person say Jesus not white. Hey, Shahid, that's your name, bro? Yeah, it's Let's just first start, man, with just some, some, some real talk, okay? Before we get to the offenses and is Jesus white, yeah. is Jesus black, man. Let's deal with real so life, he, man. You think he, he think he Malcolm X? Well, man. I, I feel he, you, he man. Malcolm, you know what I'm saying? I feel yeah, you, man. But we, you know, we can we can talk around the real issues of life. Yeah. But let's deal with where we at, man. Where where we at for real, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm good, man. I mean, man, the reality is, bro, my sister, she wanted me to come talk to you. I know because she she think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get killed out here. She think I'm gonna go to jail. Wow. She crying. She stressing herself out. Wow. But I'm I'm good out here, bro. I'm wow. good. My my name good in these streets. Mm. I'm good in these streets. My my people like we good. Like I'm good. So wow. she stressing over nothing for real. Really? I just came to rap with you because that's my sister and I love her. So wow, just man. being honest, man. Well, man, I know your sister, man, and I know her concerns are real, bro. And for real, man, the reality is that. To have a blase attitude about getting killed or even the prospect of you getting killed or doing what you do, man, kind of speaks to the real heart of the problem, man. Like, it's serious, bro. Like, it's a serious issue, not just what you're doing in these streets or even your name in these streets. Like, it's a serious issue to our creator, to God. Like, what you're doing is, is something to him. Like, it means something to what you're doing. Why? Because he gave you breath. He gave you life. 
he gave it to you to live a certain way that he wanted you to live. And when you're not doing that, it's a problem. It's a problem with him, bro. So if God have a problem with how I'm living and, and God made me to live a certain kind of way, then why would God put me in the environment, in the neighborhood that I'm in? Why would God put me in this situation? Like, I'm, I'm doing what I got to do. I don't, I don't have no other options, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. this, this, these my options. I'm, I'm dealing with life through my options that I have. That's the misconception, bro. I thought just like that. When you talk about the only option, and it's the hood is designed, man, to make us think that that's the only option, bro. Cause it is, bro. Let the talk, bro. I'm man, just saying, man. Man, I'm here to tell you, man. I come to find out it is another option. But even beyond just taking care of ourselves and taking care of our family, we got core issues we got to deal with within us as men. And that core issue, man, has to go back to identity. Who are we? I sat there listening to that pastor at that so, table. Uh, that's what I really want. And for the first time in my life, I understood. Like, who are we? Who did God I don't know if it was because he was young or because he grew up in the streets just like me or if it was just time for me to hurry. But I understood everything he was saying. He told me that we was born in sin. And that even though we were born in sin, Jesus got on the cross to die for our sin. He told me it was like you getting arrested for a murder. And you going into a courtroom. And when you get into the courtroom, you go before the judge. And the judge know what you've done. You got an eyewitness against you and everything. And you know you about to face life in jail. But he say your lawyer step up in your place and ask to take on your punishment. He told me that's what Jesus did for me. He told me no matter how much dope I had sold or how many people I had hurt, it didn't matter. If I went to God and asked him for forgiveness, that he'd forgive me. I had never heard it like that before. And I had never understood it neither. But I just did. Right around with the top, laid back, let it knock, go I'm back and I love my city. My city. Got a heart like Pac for the block, but your boy big and black like Biggie. Like Biggie. Got the dope boys with me. Got the dope boys with me. Shut up, go, see me. See me. And they gotta pull me over, cause they think I'm riding around with the four four with me. I can't believe these dudes came at me like this, man. But what I tell my sister, I told her I was... I thought about what that pastor said the whole ride home. How God created me to be something different. How God didn't create me to just dial her in the street. Everything he said right now, it don't matter though. Man, I should have listened to my sister. I should have listened. Now I'm just another fallen king. Welcome back to Bat Film Showcase. I'm your host, John the Baptist. We just watched a short film from Thizzle, Fallen King. That short film had a serious message. You never know when your time is up on this planet. You know, the Bible says in Isaiah 55, verse 6, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. You know, you never know, man, when your day is up and your time on this planet is over. We just like to make an invitation right now. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have an opportunity to make him your Savior today. So if you'd like to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, you can do that right now by repeating this prayer. Just say, Father God, I'm a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins and rose again on the third day that I may have eternal life. Lord, I ask you to forgive me for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. 
In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. That's right, fam. If you just prayed that prayer, that's the best decision you'll ever make in your life. And it's the most important decision you'll ever make in your life. So congratulations. Now, here's a couple of things for you. Ask the Lord to lead you and guide you to a church home where you can grow and mature spiritually. Also, pick up a Bible. Start reading in the book of John. You'll get a greater understanding of who Jesus Christ is. Well, fam, we're going to keep it moving. Here's a music video from Thizzle, Black Rose. Enjoy. Have you ever seen? 
my city. Get through around the world with this bird on my city. Next stop is the hood. Tell them bring them grills out. Don't it put them nets up. Tell them bring the kids out. I'm not a rapper. This is what I live about. You hear me spit it on the record? That is what I live about. No acting. This is what they real about. They say they want that real back. It's time to bring that real. what it is right there fam we pray that you enjoyed the short film from thizzle fallen king as well as his music video black rose don't forget to check us out online at johnthebap.com where you can see more episodes of this show check out our radio show mixtapes and much much more well fam as always thanks for watching god bless you and remember god has a plan for your life peace <laughs>